Hey, good afternoon. It's about noon time on Saturday afternoon, um, the 7th of March. Anyway, just a short video. I want to show you what I make. I made for lunch. I basically cooked some beef heart. I don't want to tilt it so much. I got beef heart and rice soup. And it's got some chopped onion and some of my turmeric black pepper, a uh, little curry powder, and some mustard and uh, horseradish in here. So, oh, and sea salt. So, it's it's really tasty too. You know, I mean, um, delicious. Anyway, so. Um, Anyways, on the 5th, uh, Thursday, two days ago, I was at my doctor's office. I had 11.40 appointment, so it was exactly two days ago. I go in, they check my pacemaker like every six months. See, I got, I got like, I don't know if you can see, but I got a scar right here. Yeah. So anyways, um, when I went there seven months ago in August last year, the voltage on the pacemaker was going down. It was like 2.73 volts, something like that. And then, um, yeah. <sighs> anyway, so I guess when it gets down to 2.63 volts, they have to you have to go in the clinic and they cut you open and they remove the device. Well, they unhook the point. Well, they unhook the wires because they can't pull the wires out of your heart. And then uh, they'll hook a new device up uh, to the wires and then, you know, stitch you back up. So it's like a one-hour outpatient procedure. And um, so I talked to the doctor about that. So anyways, they checked my aunt. They checked it. My voltage is 2.64 volts. So I'm like one one hundredth of a volt or maybe is that 10 millivolts above the um, threshold where they change it out so I was like well gee doc uh, when it gets down to the low battery what's gonna happen and uh, he says well an alarm will go off you just need to call us and we'll schedule for the um, device replacement so I says oh okay okay he says don't worry he says uh, it'll keep working for two or three months after the low voltage alarm goes off. I go, oh, gee, well, thanks, doctor. That's really nice to know. It'd be nice for the patients to know that, you know. So, boy, I tell you, it's like, sometimes you got to pull, it's like pulling teeth to get any information out of these doctors. Anyway, so, but other than that, they check the device, and, and there's a chip in here that keeps track of your heartbeat. Basically, there was no um, events or arrhythmias or whatever the heck they call it. So, anyway, so that works out great. So, next week, I go in, I do a fasting blood sugar, and, um, yeah, I got to go in and get all my blood tests done in, like, ne middle of next week. And then all those tests, and then, the, oh, on the same day, they're going to do an echocardiogram. That's where you go to the uh, cardiology building at the hospital, and they do, like, an ultrasound. So it, it takes basically a picture of your heart when it's pumping, and, and anyways, doctors look at it. And so I have to get that done once a year now. So, anyways, um... It's sunny out. You can tell it's sunny. If I can't, if I turn the uh, thing this way, just you're just going to see a big bright light. But yesterday it was very chilly and um, misting, like drizzly. And I met a friend at uh, the Norm on Thursday. I went there and had a few beers on the fifth of March. Um, after my doctor's appointment, you know, so Francis likes to have a few beers after I go to the doctor and get a good report. <laughs>
yeah so uh anyways it worked out pretty good you know and then um what else happened oh yeah while well, i was at that bar some people ordered food so i ordered a chicken and cheese sub and uh i don't know it's like eight bucks like i gave him a two dollar tip i gave him ten ten something so uh, <clears throat> anyways it was real good so uh Oh, and I met a person, a, a young, a young girl in her like early thirties, and uh, you know we just became friends. And um, so uh, she said she'd give me a ride to go food shopping um, yesterday, third. Yeah, no, on Friday. Yeah, because I met her Thursday night. Yeah. So she said she'd give me a ride because it was forecasting rain, and I told her I needed to go food shopping. And uh, so, anyways, uh, that worked out good. So we, she took me food shopping yesterday, and we went to the China buffet for lunch, and uh, it was great, you know. So, um, anyways, I'm basically home, just hanging out at the house today, in my apartment, and uh, all right. So, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, I guess that's about it. So, um, that's about the best update I could do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue eating my lunch here. Oh, and I just got, an, an, less than an hour ago, the FedEx lady showed up at my door. And I got this big package of um, clothes I ordered. Like, I think it was earlier this week. So, um, I, there was a lot of nice things that were on sale. So, I think Francis is going to be wearing something new to church tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't decided what it is yet. i got to open up the bag and see what my haul was, you know. So, Okay, love you all. Have a great weekend.